Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a makeup collection video. Now this video is probably going to be very long so I may split this up into two different parts. Um, also I am going to just kind of give like an overview of everything. I'm not going to go too in depth on everything that I have but if you would like to know information on anything that you see on this video then please leave that in the comments below. But other than that let's go ahead and get started. So this is an overview of my makeup desk. I got this desk from Ikea. This is an Alex, um, I think it's an Alex desk, but it doesn't have two drawers. It just has one. Um, that's all that I really need. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start in this section over here. This is where I keep like 90% of my lip items. So on this top row, we have liquid lipsticks. This is the Liquid Cat Suit by Wet n Wild. Um, all of these here are Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. Again, I'm not going to go too in depth on all of these. If you would like to know specifically like a lip collection video or a foundation collection video, then leave that in the comments below. Um, but I'm just going to give a quick overview of everything right now. These are some melted um, Too Faced lipsticks. This is a Smashbox. This is a Sea Mist Spray by Tarte. This is also by Tarte. This is their Rainforest of the Sea Deep Dive. Don't know how well you can see that. These are some Kat Von D liquid lipstick little samples. This is a lipstick from I think Revlon or maybe L'Oreal. And then all of these here, all of these are buxom. These are some of their lipsticks, some of their lip polishes, and then some of their creams. So these are all really great. This is just um, a heat protectant. Ah, this is just a heat protectant spray. Move that out of the way. I got this little holder thing from Amazon. I honestly hate it. I think it is the worst way to store lipsticks, but I have it, so I might as well use it. And it's got two little drawers here. I just keep some jewelry in there, and I have some Too Faced blushes, um, a Laura Mercier eyeshadow primer, um, or foundation primer, and then a Makeup Forever HD, um, Ultra HD setting powder sample. Over here, I keep a lot of my mascaras, so I have the Max Volume Plus Waterproof Mascara from Wet n Wild, the L'Oreal Paris, um, or L'Oreal Paradise Lush Paradise Mascara, um, this Miss Manga Mascara, and then two tubes of this CoverGirl Mascara. So I have quite a bit of mascaras there. So let's move over to this. Let's see. To this section right here so this is still attached to this little plastic thing but I just keep a little bit of brushes there no big deal um, I don't really use those that often so they just hang out there I have some stress relief eucalyptus spearmint um, lotion some aquaphor right here I keep the rest of my lipsticks more Kat Von D these two are Anastasia Beverly Hills this is by Milani Too Faced um, these are by I think L'Oreal this is a new Anastasia Brow Wiz that is a replacement for my old one a Smashbox metallic lipstick and then here are all of my foundations. So these are all of my, well most of my foundations. These right here are the ones that I don't use right now because they are not my shade. So I have two Milani Conceal and Perfect Mas Mascaras foundations. I also have the Matte and Porous by Maybelline Fit Me. I have some um, what is this? Mary Kay foundations. I have this mousse foundation by Maybelline, a CoverGirl foundation, some Tarte Amazonian clay foundation, and then also the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation. So those are foundations that I don't use mainly because they're not my shade. They're probably, um, they're either too dark for me or they are too pink toned for me. Now, moving over to this little section here, there's a lot of stuff, more foundation. 
um, more foundation, a little Revlon eyeliner, a brush, some more eyeliner, the Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist, an uh, infallible setting spray, a Real Technique sponge, the Cover FX Custom Blot Drops, the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, um, an e.l.f. primer, and a little perfume sample. Now over here, I have a lot of these kind of like dupe artiste brushes. These brushes that are in this little section, I also don't really use that much. I bought um, a pack of these type of brushes, but I only use about three of them that came in the pack. But I keep the rest here. This is a Real Techniques brush that I don't really use that much anymore. Some eyelash curlers here. This is some lotion that goes on my face. Um, a beauty blender, a little cosmetic mirror. So that is everything in this little section. So I'm going to go right here. So in this little vase thing, I keep all of my most used face brushes. So this is one of the dupe artiste brushes that I use for foundation. I use this Real Techniques brush for bronzer. use this e.l.f. brush for contour. I also use this for contour. Um, I use this to blend out like my nose contour, I use this brush for concealer, my fan brush for highlight, my big fluffy eco tools brush for powder, and then this brush for blush. And then I also use this brush to contour with too. Just depends on what I'm feeling for that day. Now this little Real Techniques container came with these little purple brushes right here but I use this whole container to store a slew of brushes and also some little scissors that I use for my eyelashes um, not my real eyelashes but fake eyelashes but I just have a bunch of different eyeshadow brushes here crease brushes real technique brushes my brow whiz a spoolie a comb just my usual eye brushes that I use for eyeshadow this is my mirror that I use. Excuse that. Let's turn it this way. So this is the mirror that I use. I got this from JCPenney's. It was on sale for like 30 bucks, and it's really great. It lights up. I love it. It's super awesome. But I'm going to move that to the side, and we are going to go to the section over here. So this little plastic thing that I got, I think both of these came together. I also got this off of Amazon. I don't remember how much it was, but on the top section, I just have more face brushes that I don't use that often. Some Morphe brushes, this brush that I don't even know where it came from, a couple of Wet n Wild brushes, and then some more brushes that just have appeared there. And then this little section, I just keep mostly foundation and concealer. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation, a couple of Tarte Shape Tapes, some more Maybelline Fit Me, um, Wet n Wild Photo Focus, I also have a um, cushion foundation, and then I have this lip gloss that should actually go right there, and then this is a milk eyeshadow pigment. Then in this little section I just have other miscellaneous things, another Tarte Shape Tape that I accidentally purchased twice and I haven't used ever, a little teeth whitening pen, Kat Von D concealer, just a regular pen, um, this NARS lip cream crayon thing, um, a sample of this Tartist lip, lippy, um, more NARS, this is a Marc Jacobs roller ball, this is a sample of the Too Faced, um, Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara, and then other little samples here. And then I'm going to move all of this out of the way and we will get to that in a second. But this drawer has nothing in here. Move all of this aside. There we go. This drawer just has a little palette. This is by Milani. I think I'll actually put this where all my eyeshadow palettes are. Um, this is the Earthy Elements palette. This drawer also doesn't have that much, just some of the little um, lookbooks from Too Faced palettes. And then this 
drawer is also empty. So what I just pushed aside was other everyday items that I use. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Medium. I use that pretty much every day. This is Living Proof Perfect Hair Days, um, our Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. I don't use this that often, ah, but I keep it there because there's really nowhere else to put it. Um, the Too Faced Hangover Primer, I do use this very often. I use it pretty much every day. And then the Pore Professional by Benefit, I also use that pretty much every day. And then my Beauty Blender, um, the Maybelline Line Stiletto. This is the Maybelline Line Stiletto. I use this for liquid liner. And then some Strip Lash Adhesive some clear brow gel by Anastasia, a couple of more brushes that should go over here, some tweezers for my brows, some Jeffree Star Velour Lip Scrub, this is in Strawberry Gum, a travel perfume, this is the Victor and Rolf, um, Petite Bonbon perfume. My used to be all time favorite Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I use this every now and then, but when I first bought it, I absolutely loved it and I don't use it that often anymore, but it is a really good primer still. Um, the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I use this mainly to clean up my brows. The Urban Decay Liquid Moon Dust Eyeshadow in the shade Zap. And then my Marc Jacobs Eyeliner in black. So that is pretty much half of the top. So moving on to this section. My desk is a huge mess, so I'm sorry about that. But um, over here we have another Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. This one is my shade. That one that was over there is actually too light for me now. So this is the shade that I'm wearing now. This is in 4.0. This is just a Veramona color switch. This is what I use when I want to clean off pigment from my brushes. Again, my heat protectant spray that I'm gonna move out of the way. This Sephora bag I actually keep here just to throw trash in and of course when it gets full like this I will empty it and then put this bag back. So if I'm like cleaning off my makeup or if I need to throw away anything and I don't want to get up and go to the trash can I just toss it in here. Um, this here is a Too Faced Le Grand Chateau. I got this a couple years ago for Christmas. It is a little um, like eyeshadow thingy. Um, it used to have a better than sex mascara sample here, but I took that out. Um, and it's got three palettes in here. You can give them away. It has a little thing where you can give them away each individually, but I got this as a gift set for Christmas. So it just has um, different eyeshadows and then like a blush at the bottom. That blush right there is really pretty. That's in Mademoiselle. And I haven't used these in a while, but they are really good. And I think the packaging is super cute. So you just get a little mini palette in here. And I think that's really awesome. And then you can put them, if I can do this with one hand. There we go. You just put them back in their little house. And I can't do this with one hand, apparently. There we go. And then it closes magnetically, and you put the little top back on there. So I just keep that right there, just for looks, I guess. Then this is my Urban Decay D-Slick Setting Powder. I keep, um, these are from Empty's video, so I'm going to throw these away. Um, but yeah, these are empty candles, and then this candle is not empty. And then in this plastic thing, I just keep all of my nail items, so nail polishes, all of that fun stuff, that all goes in there. I have a little Minnie Mouse brush set that I got from Sephora, some little knickknacks and zoom zooms and whatnots right here. And that is a big overview of my desk. Sorry the lighting is a little dark over here. I have this like awkward 
lighting set up here but yeah so that is the top of my desk now we shall move on to the drawers so on to the first drawer is my junk drawer i throw all of my shit in here this is where i keep my makeup wipes i have some lashes here I've got some bobby pins a little hair band to pull my hair back with my doll freaking phone portable charger thing bobby pins hair ties lots of junk in this drawer i usually don't go in there that often the second drawer though is much more organized i have most of my face items in this drawer, so some powder foundation, bronzer, more bronzer, more bronzer, highlight. All of these here are blushes. These are two of the Hourglass um, Ambient Lighting Powder. Um, they're both in the shade Luminous Light. I don't know why I have two of them, but I do. Um, the Becca Jaclyn Hill face palette, um, the Too Faced Cocoa Contour palette, my Cody Airspun setting spray, Laura Mercier setting spray, um, I also have a Tartiste contour palette, and I also have this Too Faced Sweet Peach Glow palette from their Sweet Peach collection, and also this needs to go on my blushes. Also, the Papa Don't Peach Blush, that can go right there. Um, some House of Lashes that I'm wearing right now, and then an empty case of the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. So on to the third drawer now are all of my eye things. So starting here, I keep all of my big palettes. This is the new Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Another Morphe palette. This is the 35P palette. This is the 35OS palette. The Alice in Wonderland through the Looking Glass palette. And then the Mi Vida Loca Kat Von D palette. So all of the big bulky palettes go in that space, but I have to pull them out so I can pull this out. This is the Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen palette. Lots of different Too Faced palettes, a matte palette, the Too Faced peanut butter and jelly palette, which is super cute, a Sephora palette, a Smashbox trio, some more um, mascaras, an Urban Decay single eyeshadow, and then another Milk Pigment eyeshadow. This is in the shade Gig. I know you can't see that. So that's where I keep pretty much all of my eyeshadows. What I really like about these drawers is they're very deep and it really holds a lot of makeup. Or other things if you want to use it as a regular desk. So in this drawer, as you can tell, I keep all of my makeup bags. I use this one the most to travel with. This is from Sephora. I really love this one. I usually take this one and this one with me to travel. I keep most of my makeup in here, but then my overflow makeup goes in this one. Um, this was a little eyeshadow case that I got from Morphe when I ordered some of their rose gold, rose gold shadows. Um, this is another little pouch and this is a Sephora brush collection. I take this when I travel sometimes just because I don't want to take all of my other brushes with me and this is really simple to take with me but I don't use it that often but it's nice to have when I want to travel um, especially if I'm going somewhere like far away where they might lose my luggage then I'll take this with me because it won't hurt my feelings if this gets lost you know what I mean? So this last drawer is also pretty much more junk. I have some boxes that I haven't thrown away from Kat Von D, from my Victor and Rolf perfume. I have a selfie stick in here. Um, I like to keep boxes for whatever reason. Like this is the Tasha Dewey Skin Mist. So a lot of my products that I have, like Tracy Swamp Queen Graveyard Girl one, um, I keep a lot of the boxes still in here. These are legs that go to our bookshelf that are in here for some reason but yeah so I keep a lot of junk in here pretty much I have a metronome in here for whatever reason I just got a lot of 
random stuff in here. Have some instructions on how to build this desk. Another Morphe box. Um, all of the sweet peach stuff in this container that held my mini mouse brushes that you saw from Sephora. So yeah, I like hoard boxes for whatever reason. I don't know why. I like the packaging. So I guess that's my only explanation for that. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I think I'm actually going to take this one out and set this on here and fill this with stuff. Because why not? So that is it for my makeup collection video. I'm sorry if this video was super long. If you would like me to go into more in depth into like my lipsticks or my blushes or foundations and make those into separate videos, then let me know in the comments below. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Also subscribe down below. Hit that bell icon so you get notified of when I upload videos and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!